Hi, I'd like to introduce you to some of the contributors of the SETAP Disco COVID-19 Task Force, focusing especially on the Biodiversity Knowledge Hub. Our group was formed in April 2020 with the aim to integrate existing biodiversity data for investigations of how the SARS-CoV-2 virus spilled over from wild mammals into humans. I'll start by introducing myself. I'm Nathan Upham from Arizona State University. As a research professor on mammalian evolution, and in particular the mammal tree of life, I helped our group identify what types of new data we needed to digitize in order to understand the risks of viral spillover from wild mammals like these, in particular bats, into humans. Hi everyone, I'm Deanne Reeder. As a professor at Bucknell University in Pennsylvania and an expert in bat diseases, I contributed by formulating research questions and facilitating the reuse of existing research outcomes. Hi, I'm Nancy Simmons, curator in charge of the Department of Mammalogy at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. I'm an expert on bats and I've contributed resources on bat taxonomy and bat literature to this project. Hi, Deb Paul here from Tallahassee, Florida. As capacity development manager at IDIG Bio, I contributed by making connections between people and projects to facilitate enhancing digitized bat specimen data in natural history collections so that researchers can more easily study the nature of bats. Hi, I'm Donald Agosti from Paris, France. As open access expert and president of Plotsy, we contributed by using, building, and linking infrastructures and data including thousands of liberated taxonomic treatments and illustrations now open, accessible to anyone. Hi, I'm Jorik Pula from Oakland, California. And as a developer of Global Biotic Interactions, I contributed by extracting and indexing thousands of mammal host virus associations from published data into openly accessible formats. In three short months, our shared desire to help understand the origin, spread, and biology of SARS-CoV-2 has resulted in digital infrastructure improvements and increased access to mammal host virus data that are now open for use.